do you have here, Benny? Yeah, it's just a basic rack thing. <clears throat> Most of this modules in this rack um, are used for drums. So at the top you've got a Trident stereo, which is the only real, the only real stereo uh, mic pre that um, I've got. And it's made by Trident. And it's, and it's fantastic, it has no EQ. All it's got is like a 48 volt to supply the mics and a phase switch. A couple of gain controls, one for the mic and one for the line. And it's very clean, like I say, no EQ, no nothing, just excellent. And I use that for overheads mm -hmm. and the drums. The, the module below is a Focusrite, um, and it's a four channel mic pre, again, no EQ. Mm -hmm. no, I don't, don't believe in putting the EQ on anything and, and, until. I want to mix it. I'm looking to get the best possible recorded output from these mic pre's into the computer, the DAW. It's four channel, basically snare and three toms. And the module below it. I use mainly for kick drum or bass because it's tube, it's valved, and it's a compressor, an equalizer. Normally, I don't really do very much in terms of compression or EQ on the bass or the or the kick drum. I just I just want the the full the full signal without tampering with it too much to get that into the the DAW. Below it's a, uh, another focus rate and it's a EQ module and I use that as a secondary kick. I have um, an, an impact, um, it's a trigger and basically what it does is it just gives you the, 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 the impact of this on the skin of, of what the drummer's playing. And I'm only interested in that in as much as I want to use that to trigger um, a bass drum sample in the DAW. Below it, I've got another Focusrite 7 and it has, it, it has compressor on it and um, a very sort of sim simplified EQ, mainly for DS and um, stuff like that, filters. Again, very, very clean. Excellent. And I'll, I can use that for vocals and sometimes guitar. Sometimes guitar. The, the, the valve effects below it, made by Digitech, is a, a unit I bought in Scotland, hardly ever use it. It's pretty much dormant there in the rack, just keeping it in the rack, it keeps it live from lying on the floor. The one below it is a audio design uh, compressor. Again, very seldom use it. And that's basically the, the left hand side mm. of the rack. Now, as you see, I've got some really high quality mic pre's and, and, and I believe in you know getting the best possible signal into the into the digital to analog converter before you go anywhere, before you go anywhere else. Mm. And um, once I've got the signal recorded, then I'll think about EQing or mixing it or compressing after the fact. But I can, you know, once it's into the DAW, it's, it's pretty much pristine audio and uh, I can always go back to just straight, uh, no effects.